Hello and welcome. It is April 27th, 2020. It is Monday. I hope you all had a great start to your week. Um, I must admit, I didn't sleep very well last night and um, it made me think of John Keats' poem to sleep. And uh, I think we all know um, to some extent what a sleepless, sleepless night feels like and um, when your head just doesn't shut down, you um, toss and turn and um, it just, the later it gets, the more frustrated you become, at least for me. So I think it's sleep that actually keeps us sane <laughs> to a certain extent. So John Keats, to sleep. O oh, soft embalmer of the still midnight, shutting with careful fingers and benign our gloom-pleased eyes embowered from the light, in shaded in forgetfulness divine. O oh, soothest sleep, if so it please thee, close in midst of this thine hymn my willing eyes, or wait the amen ere thy poppy throws, Around my bed, it's lulling charities. Then save me, or the past day will shine upon my pillow, breeding many woes. Save me from curious conscience that still lords its strength for darkness, burrowing like a mole. Turn the key deftly in the oiled wards and seal the hushed casket in my soul. I think this poem is, um, is a beautiful example about the power of sleep uh, to restore the sleeper. And Keats, I believe, expresses that um, hum human beings cannot tolerate too much consciousness and that we need those periods of, as he calls it, forgetfulness divine, um, when the soul can be protected and um, take a rest from troubling thoughts which lurk beneath the surface of conscious thought. So I hope you have a lovely Monday and I look forward to being here again tomorrow. Let's see what I'll read then. Take care. Bye bye.